and Amy, thank you for tuning in. I started doing reviews of individual books that I've really enjoyed um, and doing a deep dive into them. I had a go at doing this with Horror Movie by Paul Tremblay, which I really enjoyed. Um, I'll pop a link in the description if you want to watch that. Um, and because I really liked doing it and I thought that it was a good kind of concise way to talk about a book um, in some depth, um, I decided I'd have a go at doing it for some of the books. So the next one I'm going to talk about is The Madness by Don Kertigich. I really love this book, it's a Dracula retelling so I thought it warranted a full deep discussion. Um, I'll also mention it in my wrap up but this will be more informative and tell you a little bit more about the book and the author. So Dawn is um, predominantly a YA author, she has written, I don't know whether I said that very clearly, YA, young adult author. Um, she's written incredibly creepy books including um, The Teeth in the Mist and the sequel Blood on the Wind. Um, she wrote The Dead House and, and The Trees Crept In which is known as The Creeper Man in the UK. Her books are always steeped in mythology, quite often with A Link to Wales where Dawn lives um, and she just always absolutely terrifies me. She wrote a terrifying story for the A Taste of Darkness Horror Anthology that I curated as well um, with Mia Kujnia so I recommend you checking all of Dawn's other work out. So this one, um, when I heard that Dawn was writing a feminist adult retelling of Dracula, I was just nodding my head all the way. Um, so the story of this is that Mina Mori is a psychiatrist um, and she was friends previously with Lucy Westerner in the past, um, who's now married. Lucy gets in touch in the middle of the night and she's really scared, something's going wrong. So Mina goes back to her hometown and has to confront a few of her past demons as well. Um, I won't see too much more about the plot because I don't want to spoil it, but I thought that Dawn very beautifully took all the things that I love about Dracula and gave it a modern feminist female-led feel. Um, I thought that there were some really, really clever nods to Dracula. If you know Dracula well, um, like I do, I reread it just about every year. Um, you can kind of really appreciate it. And also somebody who doesn't love Dracula, I think, and who just loves vampire stories and loves a good mystery with plenty of horror in there. Um, I think everybody reading this who likes that kind of thing will be satisfied. Um, something that Dawn does incredibly well, as well as the horror and scaring the pants off you, um, is she writes brilliant characters. And I think that with a retelling, sometimes um, it's hard to kind of make a character feel fresh and new. And I think that Dawn does that really well. They feel like the characters that I know so well in Dracula, but she's given them her own modern interpretation. And I think that the cast, as it does in Dracula, just knits together really beautifully. Another thing that I'll talk about is Dawn's writing style. Somehow she manages to create an atmosphere that is both beautifully written and at the same time really chilling and atmospheric. Um, there are some settings in this book that are just so creepy. Um, please check the content warnings. If you're at all unsure, there are some scenes um, that are quite disturbing, um, but that were kind of necessary to get across the points um, that Dawn was making. I'm not going to say anything because they do heavily spoil the plot, but yeah, just be aware that there's some content about the treatment of women um, that you probably need to check into if you're at all unsure. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention is that Dracula is written in mixed media and I really love it in a Dracula retelling when um, the author kind of draws on that. So there are mixed media elements in this book that really bring it to life. I'm just going to flick um, to a couple to show you. So I don't know whether they're designed up, um, but basically there's little bits written from some characters points of view. There's little um, extracts of emails and stuff like that. So it just, it kind of brings the book to life. I think mixed media done well really immerses you in the world of the book and makes it feel like it's real, like something you're reading something that's actually happening to these people. Um, in summary, I think that Dawn has done a great job. She's taken one of my favourite books and made an absolutely beautiful creepy atmospheric reimagining of it um while we're talking atmosphere i should probably add even though it's my wrap up i'm going to add a new point um i love the fact that dawn's books are steeped in wealth mythology a lot of the time and this one takes the vampire myth but gives it um a slant of being set in wales and de um, delving into welsh vampire stories too so i really loved that um, so in summary, great setting, great characters, atmosphere, creepy plot that just pulls you along and has you questioning everything. Even though it's a retelling, I think that there will be some fresh surprising elements in there for you and I really think you should read this book. Uh, thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments if this is a book that is on your radar. What other Dracula retellings should I be reading because I always love them. Um, I think gothic retellings in particular is a niche that I really enjoy. Um, so thanks so much as always likes and subscribes are really appreciated and I'll see you in the next video. Bye